Hey, what's going on? It's Nick Smith. So I was driving the other day and as I was driving, it was foggy. And as you can see from the video here, it was real foggy and um, it didn't really seem like there was a whole lot that the sun was doing. Like I could actually look up at the sun and there was so much fog in front of me. There was so much dense stuff just kind of blocking my path that um, all I could really focus on was what was in front of me. The sun didn't even factor really into that situation. Actually, as I was driving through these dense patches of fog, uh, the temperature, the entire color shade of the atmosphere would change. It'd go from dark gray to kind of a lightish brown. And all I could really focus on was, okay, what's directly in front of me? What's coming up? What's right here? God gave me this revelation. Um, a lot of us walk around in this fog. We walk around in such a dense state of, of letting the world's troubles, letting everything cloud our judgment that, that we don't even see the presence of God as something that's important. We don't even see the presence of Jesus Christ and the truth of his word and what he's calling us to, to be of value right? We can look and think we're making out, well, I kind of get what Jesus is. I kind of see through this fog, kind of what he's about. And you know what? It doesn't really matter that much because that's not really helping me in this moment. But what we fail to realize in those moments is that it's only because of the light that's getting through this dense fog, only because the truth of God that's shining through whatever your situation is, that's giving you the ability to discern right from wrong, that's giving you the mental capacity to know that there's something greater, that's giving you the physical ability to, to be able to work through these problems or to have a community around you. It's only because the grace of God is still there that you can even see those few feet in front of you. And as you realize that, as you recognize God's presence in your life, his provenient grace, as we call it, as you see that it's only God allowing you to see these few steps, you'll notice how important his truth is. And he'll begin to burn away the dross in your life, the confusion, the, the fog that you're in, the veil that's blocking how well you see the son of God. He will begin to remove that. And then just like uh, C.S. Lewis, there's a famous quote. He says, I know that God exists as I know the sun exists, not only because I see it, but because by it, I see everything. And this is my prayer for you today, that as you're living your life, you'll realize that it's not only looking at God and looking at Christ and seeing this vague shape of, of good moralism or, or, or being a kind person, seeing this kind of vague outline and be like, yeah, I guess I could see there's a God. But by allowing the truth of God to shape what you see, you'll be able to know God more. So that's my prayer for you today. I pray that you will see everything by the light of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Be blessed.